hostel vibes right here, a salsa lesson tonight. Um, I'm do my best. I'm gonna do my best to fill and to join in on the salsa lesson. Oh, they're free. They're free. Let's go. Let's go. All right, it's COVID test time. <clears throat> We're leaving um, Mexico in approximately 24 hours. So, this is Dr. Carlos. That's your name, right? Yeah, Carlos. Carlos. And uh, Carlos is in charge of testing me and new today. So, and Carlos was kind enough to come to us. Yeah, well, you already know how it is. Yeah, so yeah. Put your face like this, and I'm gonna take it. And the other side. Okay. Raise uh, Yeah, that wasn't so bad. No. It's because <coughs> oh. Now we are, we already understood that we need to we don't need to go super harder, you know. Oh really? Yeah, you don't supposed to go super. Yeah, because the first time I did it, I, mean, yeah, I think it was yeah, in my, yeah. I think it was in my brain. Yeah, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I think I got a little bit retarded after the first time. <laughs> really? They moved something inside. <laughs> that was pretty good. That's what I said. All right, so we just got COVID tested here at the hostel at the Yak Lake house that we're staying at. Pretty simple process. Uh, Carlos came in, swabbed us, and. Uh, took photos of our passports and um, he's actually getting us the results on site he says he has what he needs here so he's gonna get us the uh, the results in 30 minutes or so you'll have it emailed to us and whatsapp to us so uh, we should be ready to go we should be ready to get on a plane tomorrow with no issues if we are negative of course yeah we decided to do it here and use this option just because we didn't feel like going back to tulum with all of our luggage and walking around the streets and you know finding a place to do it they were all over the place but uh this is just a convenience factor it cost us 15 dollars more he got it down to um he's doing each test for 50 bucks so not bad so look if you're in bacalar um, you can come to the Yak Lake house, ask him for Carlos's number, and he'll get you taken care of. Gracias. All right, guys. Uh, that about wraps it up for Bacalar and the Yak Lake house. We, are, uh, we just checked out. It's 8 a.m. in the morning. I'm jumping back into our little Volkswagen. Going to drive back to Tulum about a two and a half hour drive we'll probably stop get something to eat on the road 
return the car and then find a ride uh, back to Cancun where we're gonna stay the night because we have a plane to catch from the can from Cancun tomorrow morning. We don't have a ride arranged. We're probably gonna jump in a taxi. Um, if we feel like they're not giving us fair prices, then we'll just book the private transportation. If you get the chance, come out here and check it out before this place changes. Uh, I feel like it's, it's on the way. Uh, they're making some changes. I don't know if it will necessarily be the next Tulum, um, but there's def it's definitely up and coming. A lot of construction, a lot of things happening here. It's becoming more and more popular with the tourists. So if you have the chance, check it out now hey, and maybe check it out again in the future. See what changed. Till the next one, guys. This is Cedric and I am out.